Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and today we have an unbagging. Yes, this is part two of my last order from the company DIY Choose. So I want to say thank you to them for um, sending me their beautiful products. I really enjoy working with them. And let's see what we've got today. I think we've got six canvases in this part of the order. So grab a cup of coffee or a cold drink or whatever and hang out with me and let's see what I got. So the first one is a, looks like a full drill. And yeah, of course, it's a rooster. Sorry, I know some people don't like that I order so many roosters, but you know, my channel, my decision. So this is a 30 by 40 and it has 30 colors. What? That's a lot of colors for such a little guy. So there's going to be, there's a lot of confetti. Now you'll notice that it look, it is a pixel printed canvas. So it's, it's, you're, it's not going to be the picture printed with the clear lines. You're actually going to be making the picture out of the diamonds itself, just like we did in the good old days before they came up with that picture printed business. So this one is pixel printed. We have all letters and numbers for the key. The canvas is very nice and um, flexible. It has good thickness. I'd say average thickness. And wow, we've got triple bagged drills. So they want to make it real difficult for me to get into them. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, well that's neat. They're all in, the, they're not in a strip. Okay. So we have brown and brown and mint and brown and brown and lavender and blue and a nice butter yellow, dark green and a caramel in that bag. And I am gonna put them all in one bag just to make it easier on myself in the future. Let me get in. We have a couple strays there that managed to escape. We had a couple of escape artists. So let's see if I can get into this other bag. You should have lots of blues in this pack. Oh, goodness. I don't think I've ever had these strip ones come not in a strip. That's just interesting. Black, periwinkle, light rose, a couple of grays, a nice deep red, army green, a couple more blues, nice purple, that's probably 550 purple if I had to guess. Yes, it is. Some yellows. Some grays. Two dark blues. And a dark green. So, that he is just a lovely guy, just standing in a field of flowers. I love him. He can't take my roosters away from me, you guys. Just can't. I've slowed down quite a bit, but if I see a good if I see a good chicken, you can guarantee it's gonna be on my channel. Alright, let's see what we've got next. Ooh, this next one is a special drill partial. 30 by 60. Holy guacamole. Wow. I didn't know that. Look at that. Wow. Now this is quite a stiff canvas. Not that that's a good or a bad thing. Just making, you know, just letting you know. 
And look at the beautiful jewel tones. It has 11 different drill types. This actually, there's not, it's not too awfully drill heavy. There's a lot of background to it that's undrilled. Um, but I think it's going to look really nice. I'll just put the drill field up close so you can see what I'm talking about as far as having the um, drilled areas as opposed to the background areas. So very nice, very pretty design. I love how big it is. I actually absolutely love the size. Very cool size. Different, very different. So all of these diamond paintings come with a standard toolkit, a boat, a pen, and a plate of wax, everything you need for diamond painting. These drills for this kit come pre-bagged, yay. Oh my gosh, and I see something in here that I love already. So let's get into them and see what we've got. So we have, these look like great crystals too. Uh, clear, my favorite sky blue or ice blue, red, peach, purple, green, and then look at these. I love them, and there's quite a few of them too. They are crystal rectangles. I absolutely love these. Wow, a huge bag of these purple iridescent uh, large ones. There, that's a lot. Then we have some faceted iridescent pink teardrops. Some smooth resin iridescent coated orange. Love those. And some faceted clear iridescent coated marquee. Very cool. Very nice colors. Very nice drills. Love the size. Just something different, you know. So, yeah, like it. That's definitely a win. Definitely a win. Don't know how I'm going to store it because I like to store my diamond paintings flat. That way, when I'm ready to work on them, I don't have to. Um, I don't have to flatten them out. They're all ready to go. Um, but I don't. I put them in a drawer. Um, my all my thirty by thirties and thirty by forties. But this one will have to go under the mattress for storage. <laughs> Just because he's so long, he won't fit in a drawer. All right, moving right along. Let's see what we've got next. Next one feels like a full drill. It is nice, supple canvas. And it is very, very cute. It's like a heart quilt for Valentine's Day. Isn't that adorable? Don't you just love the colors? 30 by 40, 22 colors, all letters of the alphabet for the drill legend, drill field, color code. You know what I mean. Very sticky canvas. Love the colors in this. Love the colors. Isn't this just so nice and just... It's going to be fun to do with all these colors and then with all of the, um, it's definitely not, it's definitely very confetti heavy. Definitely not a lot of multi-placing going to be involved. Love it. Love, love, love it. And I've dropped the drills on the floor. Give me a quick second to recover them. Okay, I've got them. Let's see what lovely colors we have with this. So excited. So cute. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Look at these colors. So we'll start with this little strip. We've got a plum and a very, like an oatmeal. Then we'll get into the fun colors. Check that out. That is like a bright, uh... Gosh, I don't even know what you would call that. It's almost fluorescent. It's so cool. A very nice purpley pink. A classic pink. Light blue. Deep yellow. Some black. 
some lime green, some greenish yellow, a little bit of cream, a bunch of blue. Look at these two oranges. Yes, please. You know how I love my orange. Nice Kelly green, Christmas red, Elizabeth pink, magenta, uh, like a like a lightish green hued gray, another red, bright sunshine yellow, and another pink. Amazing colors. So fun. Look at all those colors together. Isn't that just going to be fun? Super fun. Yes. Yes, please. So that'll be a fun one to do in the blah, blah, yucky grayness of winter. Very cute. Very cute. And I love the canvas too. You know how I love my nice soft canvases. Oh, I didn't bend, the, I didn't fold those enough. Let's see if I can get these in here quickly. So you guys don't have to listen to me fight with it for five minutes. Because that's never any fun. Okay, moving right along. See what we've got next. Next, we have another partial, and it's, you know, one of my favorites, just your good old classic mandala. Love these. I, they never get old, and this is one that I didn't have. You know, I would have thought that by now I would have them all, but alas, I did not have this one. These are classic Angie colors right here. You got your greens, yellows, oranges. Yeah. These are just, the colors are right up my alley. Nice and warm and neutral. Very pretty design. Very pretty design. Ten different drill shapes or drill types. A little bit of a stiff canvas, but it'll flatten out. Standard toolkit. Drills. That's what we want to see, right? That's the good stuff. To me it is. I like to see, because it's sometimes hard to know just by looking at the canvas what it's going to be, what the drill, you know, what it's going to look like done. You got to really kind of see the colors. So we've got clear, nice Christmas red, nice Kelly green, sky blue, bright yellow, gold, black ABs, large gold, or actually, no, those are yellow. Large yellow. Iridescent, faceted, marquee, uh, pink. A little bit bigger iridescent, faceted, marquee, pink. And some iridescent, or I'm sorry, some faceted gold marquee. Non-iridescent coated. Very pretty. Yup, just your good old classic mandala. How can, you can't, you kind of can't go wrong with it, in my opinion. I have so much fun doing these. They're one of my favorite types of special drill paintings to do. So, move right along to the next one. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, looks like we've got another full drill. And, oh, isn't that pretty? Very simple, very pretty, very much of a color blocking diamond painting. So your background is 3865, tons of multi-placing opportunities there. And then you just have that crescent moon with the roses in it and the hummingbird. And they're very, it's a very, I, I don't know what the drills are going to look like, but looking at the canvas, it looks like it's a very pastelish, light, you know what I mean? Light colors, um, as opposed to being really bright. It's a 30 by 30 with 21 colors. The canvas is nice and sparkly, and it's also um, has a nice uh, 
It's not real rigid. It's very, very sticky. I'd say extra high thickness there. I'm going to try to get some of those creases out real quick. It's going to lay flat very quickly because it's a nice supple canvas. Standard tool kit. And I'm looking at these drills and they do look quite pastel. Which, you know, is not usually my jam, but I like it. I dig it. I think it's going to look really pretty just to have that bird and everything else be, you know, grays and pinks and then just have that pow of the bird. So we've got tons of white. Tons of white and then a little bit of cream. Then more white some mauve, a couple of pinks, a dark green, a lime green, and a sage green, light gray, medium gray, aqua, one, two, three different tones of pink, light pink, very light gray, a lime green, another light gray, another lime green, another mauve, a gray blue, and a uh, rose pink. So yes, that's gonna be very pretty with that just splash of color right there for the hummingbird. Love it, love it, love it. Very cute. Um, very girly, very feminine. It's a very feminine diamond painting. All right. Now for the last diamond painting from this order, from DIY Choose. It feels light, so I'm thinking it's probably a partial. Ugh. If we can get into it. You know, you'd think I could invest in a pair of scissors dedicated to my craft room. But I'm too busy buying diamond paintings, right? Right. So yes, this is a 30 by 40 special drill partial and I couldn't resist this one. You know, I'm usually not one for girls or ladies, but I just loved this. I love these little swirlies. I love the frame on it, I think is really cool. And I love the peacock feather look of her dress. I just, I don't know, it just, sometimes things just call to you this one just called to me, and I think it's going to be really pretty when it's done. There are 10 different drill types. Let's take a look at them and see what we've got. Ooh, I see some... Oh my gosh, so excited. Save that for last. Clear crystals. Oops, sorry, I just bumped my camera. You guys are rocking all over the place yellow. Ooh, like a coppery color. Very pretty. There's a lot of those too. I wonder what number three. Three is the X. So it's just going to go just in strands down her, down her dress. Very pretty color. Ooh, burgundy. Love, love burgundy. Green. Then we have some of those purple round, round topped resin, iridescent coated, look like little blueberries. Then we have some garnet. Oh my gosh, look at the color of those. That is just beautiful. Deep, deep garnet red. Another blue. And then we have some medium sized yellow. Quite a few of those. I wonder where those are all going to go. Then the piece de resistance, love these. They're like shells. That is what is going to go in these big spaces on her dress. Tell me those are not fabulous. Love them. That's going to look so good. I love this. Yep. This one you will definitely see me do very soon. Um, again, I've mentioned it before. If you would like to see finished projects of actually you know what I from time to time I like to do this um 
I am going to finish this one up and show it to you right now. So give me a minute and I'm gonna go work on this one and I'm gonna come back and let you see what it looks like completed. So I like to do that a lot of, not a lot of times, but I, I like to do that when I do unboxings sometimes because I think sometimes you don't really, I don't know, it, it's nice to see them like this, but then it's also nice to see them completed right away too. And I like the way her dress like comes out onto that frame, like overlaps out onto the frame down there on the bottom. That looks really cool. I didn't notice that until just right now. So DIY Choose, thank you. All links will be in the description as always. And I will be right back and show you what this looks like finished. All right, give me a minute. Okay, so here it is. What do you think? I think it turned out fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, it was so much fun to work on. There was actually quite a bit more drilling than I thought there, were go there was going to be. And I love the way these shell looking ones turned out um, in the center there. And it just, it's so beautiful. It's just really, really beautiful and was really fun to do. So again, that was just the one that I completed and I finished it and my friend Sarah stopped over. She saw it and she fell in love. She already claimed it. So all I have to do is frame it for her and uh, she wants it. <laughs> so it already found a good home. So that's good too. So again, uh, thank you for sending these my way. Thank you to all of you guys for watching and subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. All right, have a great day. Bye guys.